Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel, Train to the World. I'm here at Movie Town San Fernando with one of the drivers for the Rally Trinidad coming up later on in this year. So he's going to introduce himself and make you all more aware of what Rally, um, Rally Trinidad is um, preparing itself for by this event that they have here today. So I'm um, just to let you guys see, in Movie Town we have all the cars. So I'm going to pass it over now to the driver so he can introduce himself. Good day, my name is Sanjeev. Um, actually, Rally Trinidad is one of the biggest events for rallying in, in the, the, well, the Caribbean. This year we have 16 cars competing. We have a few from Jamaica, one from Suriname, one from England. Um, I'm fortunate enough to be rallying this year. Um, I actually have a front wheel drive vehicle that I'm racing that I got sponsored from Astamin. Yeah, it's actually a supplement that helps with memory and concentration and even boosts your immune system. So they actually sponsored the vehicle to show people, you know, what someone that can concentrate and that can perform in these harsh conditions, especially in the sun, in the heat, in the dust. The sponsorship that they sponsoring, is it only for this one event or is it something that they will be going on for No, actually they have sponsored me all year last year this year well we're coming out a lot bigger um, they did the car they wrapped the car really nice um, hopefully you'll get some pictures of it and you'll you'll be able to show them but um, you know it's it's all about raising awareness and showing people how fun motorsport can be and showing people you know um, just what Trinidad has to offer. So this event that they have here today, where they have all these cars that they bring out to, to basically, as you rightfully said, raise awareness so that persons can be aware of Rally Trinidad. Yeah. Um, this event coming up, I know they're saying there's an event coming up this weekend. Yeah. So give us a little insight on what that event is about. Okay, so this event is a three-day event where we have um, first a night stage, which which is happening on Friday. Right. Um, that's when, happening. When you say night stage, what, what does that really mean? So if you look at the vehicles, you'll see they have um, what we call light pods right, on them. Right, right, right. Right? So these light pods are, is to actually show our skill driving in the night. Okay. Conditions change, mm -hmm. right? And that's what rallying is all about. Right. Not just with weather, rain, or sun, um, but also with light and dark. Right. And where that event will be hosted? Actually in in Queen's Park, Savannah, in right. Port of Spain. Port of Spain. Yeah. Okay. And um, that is what time? So it it's starting at 5 and it's scheduled to finish at 9.30. Right. And that way you will be actually driving the vehicles in a, inside of Queen's Park, Savannah. Yeah, so it's right. a controlled environment. They did like a solo deck course where we'll be driving. It will be a timed event because it is going towards our final times right. so we do have to drive as fast as possible okay. so that will be on Friday and what are the other events on Cardiff? right so on Saturday we will be in Princess Town there are two stages in Princess Town one is called Bronte which is a really harsh gravel stage right. and then there is a cool down stage after called Cedar Hill which is going to be it's not as harsh, harsh on the vehicles right. but it poses a lot of navigation um, is very navigation dependent right. so you have to have trust in your navigator right, what right. the direction that he's calling and the direction that he's giving is actually you have to believe in right and what do you want navigator for your vehicle what's his name his name is Ananawai and, and how long has he been with you actually navigating? so he started this year right. um, with me this is the first real competition that he's going to be with me but he's been navigating for a number of years. Some of these drivers here today, he has actually navigated for them right. in the past. I believe he's one of the most experienced navigators there, there is right now in Trinidad. Right. And I know you also have a lot of experience with navigating also. So give us a little insight on that. Right, so I've been navigating since I was 17 years old with my uncle, um, Kumar Ramdas, who was, ever since I was growing up, was always into rallying. Right. Um, unfortunately, he's not competing due to work right. for Rally Trinidad, but he normally competes every single year. So as a driver now, having that experience on their belts, it adds value to you and, and makes you stand out as compared yes. to other drivers who might not necessarily know it so much. Exactly. Right. So we actually know um, 
when we give a direction what we expect the driver to do. Right. So now that my navigator is going to have the same faith in me because he knows that when he tells me a direction, yes, I know exactly you know what so to do. So that we know it will build the speed so you'll be able to adjust faster to that yes. knowing that information already. Yes. Great, 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 great. And then the final day right. is Sunday, mm -hmm. which is in Kuva. That is a beautiful stage, it's very spectator friendly. I encourage anyone, um, if they can come out, to come out to this event. And where are we located? It's actually directly opposite the Children's Hospital. Mm -hmm. um, well, across from the highway, of course. Right. You can get off on Indian Trail and you'll see the entrance for the stage. Right. But it's very spectator friendly because all the spectators are actually on a hill and they can pretty much see, see the, the cars whole, the whole track everything running right eight there. kilometers of the track right okay good so yeah. and that now is basically the, the, the winning competition there what is going to be yes so all 16 cars at the same time how do they how, how do they run so they run back to back with one minute um intervals between right so one car would go and then one minute after another car is going to right. to go it's about time so every car is being timed um, unfortunately, if there's a runoff or if there is an accident, um, you do have to look out for, you do have to be careful right. about, you also have to look out for spectators, um, you have to look out for the marshals. Um, Rally Trinidad does, you know, um, control the crowd and actually have a very tight ship when it comes to their marshals, which is, I, I think, phenomenal and they do they do a great job in managing, managing and maintaining and yeah, yeah and controlling the risks yeah. well that is very good so on standby in the event now something do go wrong ambulance fire and so forth assist yes right and of course you'll also have fire watch might be trained within the rally trinidad organization to assist yes so all of the marshals have gone through triggerous um first aid training right. over the past two weeks from CPR to um, cutting cutting off the seat belts, pulling a driver out or a navigator out. They've all gone through this for the past two to three weeks. And um, we also have actual first aid people, ambulances, um, ENTs, you know, all present, on standby, yeah. all on standby. Now, I know the design of the vehicle itself, it factors in rollover and collision and so forth. Yes. And of course, Rally Trinidad now will have their standard in which a vehicle must comply with in order for it to qualify. Yeah. Right. So, so in terms of your vehicle now, we're going to pause, we're going to walk over to the vehicle and then we just have a, a little um, information about the vehicle over there. Sure. So guys, we're pausing now and we're going to go over to that side so that we can have a, he can explain a little bit about his vehicle. So let's go for that. So hey guys, we are back and he's going to give us, this is his vehicle, so he's going to give us a little run through with the vehicle, so you can go right ahead. Right, so it's my B11 Sonic, of course, and as you can see it's sponsored by Assman, powered by Assman. Um, it's actually um, road legal, or street legal, as they call it. Right. However, it is fully prepared and fully built for rally. Um, some of the key things you can actually notice is one, it does have rally tires on it. So if you can go down, you'll actually see the beads on the tires. They're very. meaty. And then as you can see inside the car, it has a fully welded FIA roll cage in it along with bucket seats I have helmets I have no carpets on the floor it's been fully reinforced on the ground front middle and rear by um, C channel so it's very safe even inside the trunk even inside the bonnet there is steel bars crossing front back left and right so the car has actually been built in 2001 it was raced by my uncle who I used to navigate for and now well I took it started preparing it again restoring it bringing it back for Rally Trinidad this year and um, it's known it's known around the rally committee here in Trinidad a lot of people see it and they can't believe that it's the same car from 2003 so and yeah. 2004 because it was 
the champion in two-wheel drive in 2003 and 2004. So it's actually a very well-built built car and a well-put-together. Well, thank you so very much. You've been great. You, you explain everything well in terms of what it be, we, we're going to expect in Rally Trinidad this year. And thanks for showing us your vehicle. And I really wish you all the best. And I hope you best of luck in the mission. Thank, thank you, you so much again. No problem. All right.